Another week, YouTube, and boy, this is a good one. I'm Stevie, you're watching the Valley Grammar. Today we're working on the Fury once again for another episode for the build series. We're doing a Fender Eliminator kit by Chrome Glow. So, here we go. Now, I'll give you a big ass box for just this tiny little package. Right here, over there, a little package. Yee! All right. So this is the Chrome Glow, Chrome Glow, Chrome Glow Fender Eliminator Kit, and the cool thing about this is that's it. That's the whole rear fender right here. I say rear fender delete kit. It's just the uh, LEDs, but. This little bit, this little thing is going to replace all this. Oh, we got yourself a phone call. Where was I? Yeah, all this, all this. Get up uh, out of here. Get up off of that thing. That's you, you better. All that to this. So step one, remove the seat and the fender. Step two, eliminate that. So that's what we gonna do. Down scope. We gets to get our tool bag. Where is the tool bag? Where's my fucking tool bag? Oh, here it is. That's crazy, I couldn't see. Those are ratchets now. Oh, come on. I don't know where I'm eating. Any of my tools are, man. This really bothers me sometimes. I always lose this stuff. So there's four bolts here. Woo! So you're gonna break on me. Started twisting up in that frame. That's it, right there. Look at that big old thing. Now we're cooking here. All right, we got brackets here. We got ourselves some hardware. So we got ourselves a side bracket here, and they want to use, I don't know what that's all about. Oh, these are the small brackets. So if it's gonna end up being like, like this, this should probably go in here like this. Bracket and bracket. This one's fighting me, so I'm gonna use a wrench to spin this around to get me through there. All right, like that. Now for the other side. Well, that one went through no problem. Oh, because I missed. Why is the back bolt always the hardest? I don't understand. It's really freaking tight, man. Come on. I'll beat your ass in. No, the plastic didn't really align all that well. So I had to go ahead and drill out the hole a little bit. And I gotta thread it in with this wrench because it's freaking tight. And it turns out I just did the wrong direction. Maybe that's why it was tight. Okay. We good? We happy now? Weep. Weep. Yep. Washer in the nut. Next up, large washer to the hole. Knew it. All right. Now they want the. Now they want the fender on there. 
I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put the seat bolt back on, just like so. Okay. This is proving difficult. That's what they mean by snug. Just enough so that I can move it around. All right. Put the fender back on. Okay, so I had to go back and forth, back and forth to making sure that it gets to the proper tightness and angle that I wanted. Too far out in certain directions will make things not work right. So I got the angle that I want. It looks straight across. I put the fender back on, put the bolt back in here, and it really holds down the top. It looks even all the way around. Took about 20 minutes to get it the way that I wanted to get it. So now we're gonna move on to the electrical. So the electrical for this kit is very simple. Reason being is because they have these posi taps, which are phenomenal for doing electrical work. It eliminates you from getting soldering and crimping and anything like that. I didn't have these when I did the other things, so that's why I crimped and soldered my other cables, but these are fantastic. Uh, simply put, you open it up, you put your power cable in on one side, on here, and when you tighten down, this metal screw, will, this little spike there, will go actually hit the lead inside the cable, and then the other cable, you, when you cut and you splice, you stick it through there, and when you tighten it down, it locks under there. That way, you can easily take these apart and not have to worry about uh, messing up the electrical cable. You can keep going all over the area. It only makes a little pinhole. And so, moving forward, that's what we're going to use. Um, they gave us in the kit, if you notice, there are two little holes here. And they gave me a little zip ties, so I imagine once I go in through here, and connect these cables in here as well. I'll be able to zip tie them to the side here and neaten everything up. We'll make it go the way we want to. So, yep, let's continue on. I put the piece through the slot, locked it down, and the light kit ground is black. So I take this piece, send it through here like yay, this, this part, Goes into the lead like yay. Slide down, and while holding this in and that like that, you should be able to tighten the piece in together like yay. Come on, yeah, yeah, yay. All right, then you tighten her down. She can't screw no more. All right, and that's it. Looks like a rat's nest, but. This is it. So now I can just zip tie in any way I want, get it clean and organized. But right now, let's test. Key, running light, brake light, rear, left signal. All right, let's try the right signal. All right, YouTube, I'm coming back another day because the relay is not the right one that I got. So we know that the relay, well, if you don't know, the relay is right here. You don't need to have the bike jacked up if you don't need to. You could just unhook it. The relay that I have is the most common one with the AB or AL. Um, pins this is a common relay to solve hyper flash hyper flash is because the leds draw less power the lights go and they need to be slowing down so you have proper blinkage unless you like the shorting signals to go uh, go crazy but this is not for the fury this is this connector is what the fury has it's different not all bikes are the same. Most common is this. This is an eBay special. They're both eBay special. This is a $2 thing. 
This has a little bit more money because it comes with a wire and the box doesn't, I can't use the sleeve that comes on the bike, but this is the cable with the two prongs and the clip to handle the hyper flash. <clears throat> turn the bike on, I'll show you what I mean. You see how that's flashing fast? Taillights going bonkers. You can tend to see the most hyper flash with regular light bulbs, like that. That's too fast. It should be about half that speed. It's as simple, as easy as unhooking the old clip, clipping this back in, and then wiring in a way, maybe use a little zip tie. I know zip ties are fine if you can use them and hide them, instead of being big old zip tie on the freaking swing arm and everybody can see that and then doesn't look as good, but whatever. So that's what I'm doing right now. Look down, will you? Trying to get in. Yeah, trying to get in here. Oh yeah. I did use a zip tie. Give me my narrow snippies. It's probably a lot easier to do this with a bike off the ground, but I'd rather not do that because I'm lazy and I don't want to do that. So that's why I'm not doing that. Unclick and I'll re-click. Oh, I heard a snap. I heard a snap. Here I am saying to myself, I don't got enough room. I'm getting my big old meat meat claws. My big meaty claws all up in there. And uh, I was like, wait a minute, how come there's not enough space? <coughs> Did I just drop a grand on doing something else? Oh yeah, that's right. Move it out of the way. Now I can get actually in there. Look at that. I got my, able to work my zip tie up in there. I got my relay all tucked up. Do a little relay tuck up action. I'm gonna loop it around here. There. Huh? Nice. Do nice, yeah? All right. So, there's that tidbit. I'm loving this air ride more and more, man. Fantastic. I can do things and I don't have to put the bike on the lift anymore. Sweet! That's the quick jobby. It's probably gonna get all dirty and dusty with all the cables, but here's what I did. Tapped in all the wires that I needed to, added myself a relay, and we got ourselves a back end complete, officially on. Let's see if this works. Key? Yeah! That's more like my speed. Fat and slow. Well, that's when I walk and move, but much better. Get the key, I always get the key. If anyone have any more questions, I'll put a, li a link in the description. I bought the little relay on eBay. Kind of took a while to search for that kind of connector. I don't have the name of that, but yeah, not one of these if you have a Fury. Not one of these, one of the long boys with the cable and the clippies, all right? End the video just like that. We'll see you next Sunday. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, pick a video somewhere along here, hit the little bell. You know the drill, guys. Thanks so much for making the channel what it is. We'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.